Wait, Maestro, wait, wait. I think it's oh. a it's a it's a brilliant title. Fake news coming from a fake composer. You, you're not really a composer, are you? You. I, I want to ask you those questions. You come from a very talented family. <laughs> your mother was a, a gifted painter, right? Yeah. And your brother is a lute player of absolute world class, bringing renaissance into our time. Your sons, one is a, a, a very talented lawyer and a filmmaker, and your daughter is probably the most talented Swedish composer of today. Why did you chose to play the trombone? <laughs> <laughs> you got all this talent. Your bro your your brother, your other brother is an architect. Yeah, yeah. So what what went wrong? <laughs> what went wrong? <laughs> yeah, and I and I know I know that you're very old, but I'm proud to say that I found your very first record. Uh, I I bought it on a flea market. It looked like this. It's your first record, and. Uh, <laughs> I, I got to put it in. I, I got this player that you have to have to play those very old <laughs> records. And I never played this before. So I, I just have a short, <laughs> ah, Christian, did you have to be naked? <laughs> it's a Christian Lindbergh. I mean, uh, could we please say? I was friend. nice now. Well, I was nice. <laughs> I, I couldn't care less. I mean, what is this? I mean, like Pierre Egmont, a fake composer with a Baltic orchestra, where the solo trombonist isn't even playing the solo part. What is this? What is this? So, Marius, why aren't you playing the solo part? You're the solo trombonist. It's yeah, so you have to stand I mean, up for yourself. I told yeah. you this many times. It was. It was very often, very fast, and very high. So it's my memories. <laughs> but you've seen all the trombone tips over the weeks now. You've seen all the trombone tips. And you can manage those, right? Yeah, yeah, of course. Of course. So, so if you can't play Kundran, then you're just lazy. Is that it? No. <laughs> I mean, I mean, we, we really, we really learn the parts uh, very, very careful because uh, we, we know new uh, Christian is coming and playing and we have to play together. So it was really, uh, I mean, a lot of job to play together with, with them. So but and, if, if, uh, Christian, if Christian is both the conductor and the soloist, it puts yeah. you out of business, doesn't it? Yeah, always you know, business. Always, always he he tried to say the trombones, you are not right. The trombones, you are too low. The trombones, you are too high. So always uh, around trombones. Something, oh my god, what's going on here? <laughs> well, I wanted to come in early this time because I have some uh, it's me, it's uh. Oh, it's Jack. Jack. Hello, Jack. Hey, hello. I have I've heard some rumors about. I mean, you have great success now with the European gramophone, but the, you have a dark history that soon will be relieved, unrevealed. And isn't that so? And correct me if I'm wrong. That when you recorded your latest master trilogy, the Kundran trilogy, it was recorded in Lithuania. In the Baltic countries. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Is that yeah, true? Yeah. And why is that? Is that because the musicians are cheaper there? The <laughs> cheaper labor in Come on, Ukraine? Um, come on. They, they are, they are one of the greatest uh, orchestra in the world. They're fantastic. Is it fair to say that if European gramophone were actually releasing physical CDs, they would have been uh, uh, printed in China? Or in some other low uh, salary country, <laughs> is that no, 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 so? No, no. Okay, that, that, just a, one okay. thing. When you were in Lithuania uh, many years ago, a couple of years ago, and then Corona came, and then you built your million kroner studio without having any gigs due to the Corona. Why did you stay another week in Lithuania and why was your bags heavier when you came home than they were when you left? Can you explain that? It's a simple question. It's a simple question. 
<laughs> Were there drugs in those bags, Mr. Lindley? That's what I'm answering. That's what I'm asking. You, Were there you, drugs? You are going you, out, Freddy. You are going out now. Yeah. No, 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 no. Freddy. No! no. Were there drugs? <laughs> okay. Oh, yes, finally. Finally. Thank you. I'm on. I'm on. Uh, hello, everybody. Hi, I did, hello. Uh, hold on just a second. I want to say hi to my Russian brothers and my fans. Uh, now we're broadcasting live from Stockholm, European Gramophone, the new Russian blog, video blog that we have. So uh, what's up? What's up? Yeah, you branched out. We are now broadcasting live to Russia, <laughs> what's in, up? in Belarus even. Uh, so what, what's up? Well, we are, we are, we are, we are about to start a... Uh, uh, a trombone tip here. So, no, this uh, is the European gramophone Russian section that broadcasting live right now in Belarus. Okay. So, come on, <laughs> your trombone nose tip. <laughs> trombone nose tip. Uh, Thank you for that, my dear friend. Now, you know, we are, we are going to uh, throw you right out. I'm going to translate to, to my blog. Goodbye, Jack in the Box. You you here. Out We're sorry, oh, goodbye. Oh, Go away now. Excuse me, boys, but... Ah! I think <laughs> no. the album cover sucks, actually. <laughs> Can you see me? I'm, I'm getting in and out Whoa, of picture. What here. is this? How did you get in there? No, I, I uh, hacked myself. I'm uh, incorporated with the guys that hacked Coop. But I can't the see The Swedish you uh, corporation. Uh, ah! So okay. uh, now I know where, you, where you're transmitting from. So I'll be here next time. I will host the whole thing. <laughs> but I want to congratulate you. I, I doubt that it's 40 years, depending on how, how you look. So I have some flowers here because <laughs> I think it's 60 years. <laughs> well, but uh, congratulations and uh, keep doing albums that no, one, no one's listening to. So that's <laughs> admirable. <laughs> I don't know how, how long I can stay here. My, my, uh, my um, situation has been compromised. Okay. <laughs> no, is he out now? This that's oh. a piece of paper with music on it. It's not a list. <laughs> yeah. Who are you? Tonight? Well, this, this is this I can list. show you list as well. Oh. It was very good looking You're actually. We're talking about list, not a list. A list, not it's, a list. Yeah, it's yeah. List. Uh, but have but you, maybe he wants have to you heard his brother. There's a film about his brother, Schindler. Oh. No, no, Franz list. We no, no, Schindler's list. That's that's the that's the one film you're gonna see about the list families. Yeah, it's a beautiful it film. Here is. But please. Uh, that's the guy. Was yeah. he related to James Lost? Uh, no, no. But he was the last to play list. Okay. That was. And you're the least to play last, Mr. Ronaldinho. You. Yes. You're going away. I'm sorry. What? Yeah, um, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, you can't be on here. Calling himself Roland Pentinen. We have a, we have a Who is this? Hacker. It's a frog. It's a frog. It's a hacker. No, I'm, I'm wrong. I'm Ronald Pontinen. That's quite a different. <laughs> I'm being offended comparing my name with uh, Roland's. But I, I do have a question, Roland. Yeah. Uh, there was someone talking about you earlier that said that you bought a, a 10,000 kroner suit. Uh, why, why aren't you wearing that now? <laughs> oh, I should have had. I mean, had I had I known all these guests coming, but, and, and also I think that impressionism it really goes with, with your personality. It's a bit blurry, isn't it? <laughs> Mr. Puntinan, we're, you have been trying to access our firewall all Okay, night. can I just say I, I, one serious but, question? But you, the, right, the guy from Liverpool. The guy from Liverpool. You know that uh, Gary Marston died recently, the, the lead singer of Gary and the Pacemakers. Yeah. Who would you say have sold the most records, Roland Pontinen or the Beatles? You're out of here, Mr. Pontinen. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> oh. Will uh, the Lament, uh, the WC Lament, will that be one of the tracks? <laughs> lament. No, no, not Lament. I meant La Mer. La mer. <laughs> I'm afraid not. <laughs> you should you work on that. It. You should work on that. It's yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. I, I, I will talk. Million six hundred. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, yeah. I got this uh, terrible cough since I got back from Brazil the other night. 
but uh, <clears throat> I want to ask you a thing before you do your trombone tip. Yes. Uh, how much do you work with your uh, presence, your like your look, uh, besides that Picasso haircut cut that you have? <laughs> but what, what, because I just got my baboon tail uh, beard. So what do you oh do God, for, what, for keeping God, up what, with fashion? How do you do that? Well, I, I try to, I have my, my this one and, and I try my best, but, but I mean... That yeah, but I mean that shirt, you've had that shirt for 20 years now. Uh, Ooh. But you keep up. What do you do to keep up? I'm trying, I'm trying, uh, Jack. I'm trying my best. You, Are you really? Yeah. You, you should get a, like a, what do you call that? A shapist. <laughs> or some, <laughs> or <laughs> someone to, to keep you in shape. No, no not in shape. Gregor, You're in good shape. I'm just talking about the clothes, your, the haircut. The, yeah, you yeah, got yeah, nice yeah. Gregor, bye. Bye. Okay, okay. Bye, no. Can't do anything bye, about Gregor. my hair. Okay. Sorry for that, Maestro. Great. Uh, what's Hello, on? everybody. No, he's back. I'm, I'm back. Not. back. I want to apologize very seriously for my interruptions the other shows. I'm I'm trying to behave yeah. tonight. Yeah, we let please you try. Yeah, I know we let you in good time. So in in as an um, sort of excuse, I prepared a, a puppet theater for you. Okay. Um. So I have uh, here Ulf <laughs> by uh, Edvard Munch, and I also have a uh, Roland, and I want to have them make a, a short dialogue. Uh, Roland says, Ulf, why is the Petters on 55 minutes? Yes, because he wrote it that long. Yes, but why don't you play it faster then? <laughs> That's a fantastic joke. But Ulf, I want to ask you, uh, not Roland, <laughs> but me. Uh, <clears throat> actually, I've listened to a lot of your uh, recordings when I go to, when I go to bed. So yeah, well, you sleep you sleep well then or what? Yes, I sleep. I, I fall asleep immediately. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you for those. Thank you for that compliment. Okay, I let myself out. I know I was rude. I'm sorry. Bye. <laughs> great, great. Just ask you. Oh no. Oh, what's happening? Oh, sorry. I just uh, I had a fire here oh. uh, with oh. a fan poster that I. I'm sorry. I, mean, I, I guess you have so many, so you can just burn one. Yeah. Yes, uh, I, I, I apologize for that because uh, I'm so thrilled uh, to meet Mr. Bobo and uh, also you, Jonas. Now it's really taking on here <laughs> fire. I have to move this a bit, but no, it's okay. Um, I'm a big fan, Jonas, and I, I wonder why you've smashed so many trombones uh, throughout your career. So I, I wanted to make a sort of a psychological valuation. Uh, if you don't mind, this is a copy of your head. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, mm. and it's actually based on a watermelon. Okay, yeah, that I got from Mexico. Okay. But now I, I just open your brain a bit and yeah. and look inside, and I see it's empty. Yeah, well, and I know you're <laughs> you're a professor of of the trombone in the Hochschule in Hannover, right? Have you ever been connected? What kind of question? <laughs> no, this is a good TV show. I'm eating your brain while you're asking me. You're answering these questions. No, I'm not. Have you ever been affiliated with? Oh, an... Not. <laughs> no. We, uh, <clears throat> uh, well, I think I think he's he's really going over the top. He's out now. Isn't he? He's he, he is really. Oh, sorry, I'm sorry. Mr. No, no. Okay, we'll later, we'll it's one more. Later. Okay. Okay. Throw me out. I don't care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. 